All right, so we are here at Padno Scrapyard with the big old stove. I thought that was stainless, but it's not. It is stainless, but it's well, not the good stainless. Oh, it's stainless, but it's not the good stainless. I got you. So these guys want to joke around with each other this morning. Sorry about that, big guy. And again, we have the cast iron uh, grates. Mike doing his job. <laughs> Dakota, he's just monkeying around as usual. I'm just playing. Hey, I think that I think this might be aluminum. Yep. My, check it. my uh, yeah, it's, it's cast breakage, something like that. You bring it next door, you save it till you get more of it. Yeah, I'm gonna save it. I got a little bit going on, but these two. Oh, I got a story about you. A good one? Mm mm. My neighborhood. What? Yeah, I'll tell you about it and hear it when I'm done. A story about me? No, not about you. Oh, a story for me. Yeah, for you. We, uh, somebody felt the need to try to get into my stuff. Mm. So I'll tell you about it here in a little bit. I got stung by four bees yesterday. Four bees? You brought them in the car and. You didn't get out fast enough. And I opened the door, checked the bin, didn't think nothing of it. And then he grabbed, he gave me his title. I'm like, well, I'm gonna recheck it just to make sure. Open the door again. Oh yeah, watch out for bees. Boom, 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 boom. I went home two hours early. It comes in today. I'm like, you only 50 bucks, man. I had to go yeah, you had to go home early, yeah. Aren't you I allergic? Oh, okay. That's what I, okay. The conversation would be different. It would be different, yeah. But, well, you wouldn't be standing here. No, I'd be at the hospital. I'd have to come visit you. And then and then I would. You'd be upset. Very upset. I know you would. All right. So this is what, Ben 5 reway for the cast? Yeah. What do you even use that for? What? Uh, I thought you knew how to read, but apparently Cooter doesn't know how to read. CFC refrigerant and AC. This is what he's telling them. <laughs> New York. These guys, they crack each other up. All right, I'll be back. Let me, uh, let me unload all this stuff, and I'll come oh. back and. I'll, oh yeah, I didn't do it mm, he's tripping over his own feet this morning. Yeah, he doesn't hit kids. Choke them. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Yeah, I'm gonna go to five and then I'll relay and then and then I'll come back and tell you the story. All right. Grab your popcorn. Grab your popcorn, he said. So what I was telling him, I had an incident last night. Somebody felt the need to try to get into my stuff, but. Between the camera and the dog and me, that didn't work out for them too well. Thankfully. All right, so Dakota, he wants to be strong this morning. I think I can get that. He thinks he can get this stove off himself. Wait, I gotta move. I, I got it too much on an angle. Hang on, one second. Got the big old pad nose truck right here, so it's a little difficult. I'll try to get this backed in a little bit better here. I had it on an angle, but there's other stuff in its way. There. Let's see what the Dakota can do here. I'm going to get the tripod set up just in case. Now, the kid is strong. But I don't want him to hurt himself, you know? I'm trying to prove to me that he can do something. So, get this set up here. He's already getting it on the strap, which is great. Most people that come with me, they, uh, they don't do that. Well, 
You're gonna try to tip it over my trailer? Oh, I got, I gotta push it off. Yeah, buddy. That yeah. No, nah, you said, hey, I'm going to push this off your trailer, Warren. I did not say push. Yes, you did. You said, I'm going to get this off myself. Tripod for a quick second here, and uh, let's we'll see what he's doing. Let's see. And he's got it almost. There it goes. The only reason you got that is because it's on wheels. And it's on a hill. No, I'm just fighting. It went a lot faster if you were to on it. I'm telling you, man, the kid's strong. I mean, normally people, you know, that's a heavy stove, to be honest with you guys. He said Mike said I would have picked it up. And I believe you would have picked it up. Because you're what? Strong arm Mike, I believe you said? He's a little man. He's a big head cooter. Cooter the conehead. <laughs> cooter the conehead. I don't know what that means, but he keeps calling him Cooter the conehead. It's funny. I don't know. What do we got here? He got out the shutters. Ooh. All right, so we got some other stuff to uh, pan out. Is that right here? Yeah, cut that off right there, yeah. Let me grab my gloves real quick. So we got a couple things that we got to take off of here. Uh-oh, oh, the yard guy's here. It's pretty cool they got that little little cart right there. So, uh, yeah. Yep, them, them. Yeah, those, those, yep, yep, that, that goes to cast. This is aluminum, so I'm going to save this. Save this for Mike, for dinner. Uh, don't, don't get it on him. No, yeah, 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 no, that's, that's regular sheet. Just grab them two grates right there. Oh, all right. See, young man, I told you. We are trying to turn a somewhat mediocre day into a, a fun day. It's Friday, we're all trying to joke around a little bit. Yeah, now he's a Looks like some cast pipe to me. Yeah, no, no, it's not. No? It's got brass up there. Oh, it's got, oh, it's got, yeah. It's got no, he's pulling one of my moves. Just don't take anything that's brass. good. Left brass and stuff on there. So there's going to be a second. We're going to be disappearing. Yeah, it's Twice last night. They know what you got. The, yeah, they know. No, they know. That's why they tried. But didn't happen. All right, so we're gonna hop back in the truck and uh, 
What is he eating? What are those? Jolly Ranch Sour. Yeah. Ooh, buddy, look at this big old boy. You're on the wrong side, my friend, I do believe. Oh, no, that's a big cream. I'm gonna get us one. I, I think I'm in his way. Oh no, he's not. No, I'm not in his way, but I do gotta go this way to get back on the skiff. Oh. Well, not just because it's Friday, it's actually. There's not really a whole lot of scrap going on out here. It's cleaning it up. But we are blessed to be out here. We are blessed to have some work this morning. What the heck? Yeah, buddy, look at that thing rises up. He sits way up there. That is awesome. Hey, I'm doing a reway for some cast. A reway? Uh, yes, sir. Alright, I might have to keep you on the scale here just because there's a crane out there, okay? Oh, yeah, that's totally fine. Yeah, okay, I want to keep you safe. Uh, yeah, absolutely. We're uh, radioing our guy real quick. He'll, uh, he'll come up. I'm pretty sure he'll be able to do Okay. Is that a second time? If I got to wait, I don't have a problem with that. Is that the second time we caught it, Warren? Two days. All the okay. right. We just got the word you're good to go. Okay, thank you much. Just be extra careful, okay? Absolutely. Thank you. We will be careful. Neither one of us need to get hurt by this thing. No, I would really not like that. I'm just cutting this Friday into a bad day. Yeah, it was a rough evening, late, early morning, or whatever you call it. Abruptly woken up out of bed. But, you know, is what it is. So I'm gonna get up here. Whoa, real close to that there. Alright, Mr. and Bin 7, we'll throw these out. Take a, take a break. Take a break. You can take a break. I'm gonna get my gloves on, not to help. Well, yeah, I want my snips. <laughs> Don't want to lose them. Thirteen dollar, thirteen dollar cutters, man. These ain't cheap. Well, I really enjoy having the photo up board. Uh, like I said in the previous videos, very, very smart. Right. Yes, sir. Very smart kid. Uh, pays attention to everything. Uh, if he gets tools out, or if I get tools out, he's right on top of uh, um, putting them back where they should be, which is great. That's all right. Just toss them. Or you just leave them on the trailer. We'll we'll keep them on there. So, still got that hunk of cat, or uh, I guess you would call it aluminum breakage. Nice motor here. You might notice a couple things on there that could have made it something out, or made it pure, but. Uh, yeah, so. They're out there loading that truck up right there. So we're gonna, I think we may have to wait for him. Um, it's their protocol whenever the big machines are out. Um, we have to stay out of their way, which is <laughs> very appropriate. Uh, you see wheat scrap metal pickup out of Grand Rapids, Michigan? I appreciate all of you tuning in and following each and every day. Let's watch him pick this up. 
for me. That is so cool, guys. Come hang out with you. Makes it look like I'm doing something. You are telling me to not move because there's a crane in operation. Yep. I don't want you to go around that way. You'd be all right. Uh, yeah. Our technical thing is however long that the crane can stretch out. Yeah. They don't want you anywhere around that. No, that's totally understandable. Because before, I was like, I used to go by it. I used to get, like, super nervous. I think this that, that machine is so cool. Just a little side note, though. That machine right there. Still couldn't fit around Dakota's head. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> wow. <sighs> He's saying you got a big melon. What do you got to say back? You thinking of something? Can't exactly say that on your YouTube. Apparently that big melon ain't full of brains. Oh, he said I don't want to say that on YouTube. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm gonna watches this. cancel this video <laughs> out here. Hi, mom. Like I said, this is Elite Scrap Metal Pickup out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. I hope all of you are having a blessed and wonderful day. So as soon as we leave here, we're gonna go get a washer, a dryer, and a deep freeze. Hope it's nice. So stay tuned.